All right, Spinners and Sharks, here we are. We're officially at Kusanori. It's a little Japanese restaurant here at the Resorts World Hotel and Casino. We're gonna see how good it is, and uh, yeah, we're gonna have a great night. Let's get started. It's the Ace of Vegas, the Ace of Vegas. Alright guys, so here's the interesting thing about the menu that we found out. So it's all designed to share. So you're going to get shareables here in the social area. You also get the starters and the salads and all that too. The next page is going to be the sushi. So the rolls you actually get eight of, which is pretty nice. Uh, depending on what you're looking for, except for, did he say the Kusa Bowl or the Kusa? Alright. We, we both missed it, but I think there's one of them that you only get uh, six of, and then there's uh, the Kusa Sushi down here in the Nori Shashimi that you get ten of, and those are a little pricier. So you have that, then the Shashimi and Nigiri, I think these are all two pieces per order, so keep that in mind too. It's a traditional sushi sort of style there. Now the skewers over here, you get the robata meat, so on the skewer and all that, depending on what you're looking for. So they have those available too. And then you get your sides of corn and mushrooms and all that good type of stuff here, even the bacon rack with enoki. And then on the back, this is where you get the big stuff. All right, but that's how the menu works. We got our drinks coming, we'll review those momentarily. Wonder Woman is very, very studiously going through all the drinks. <laughs> and she's cross with me for that. <laughs> all right, Spinners and Sharks, here we go. This is a rare treat. Wonder Woman has a cocktail here, and we have to see what she thinks of it. So she got... We already know what you think of Mai Tais. We already know what you think of Mai Tais, but we have to see how it is. I just got my way. What do you think? Probably not gonna fit. A little too strong. All right. If you had to rate it out of five, what would you give it? Good. Yeah. Twenty-three to four. So, so hard three, soft four. Yeah. All right. Hey, you know, that's a win. That's a win coming from Wonder Woman. Yeah, I tried the Mai Tai too. Um, I think I agree with Wonder Woman. It is strong. Um, even for me, it's strong. Um, yeah, definitely a three out of five on that. It still tastes good. It's still quality ingredients. It's just, wow, that is strong. So here you go. Now me, I'm rather boring, so I got an Asahi. Because I like a beer. It's kind of like a Bud. It's kind of like a Budweiser, but it's Japanese. So it's got a little more flavor to it. Pretty standard. I guess I'd also give that a 3 out of 5. It's fine, but, you know, I just like a good beer, so here I am. Alright, guys, we got the Kurabuta pork belly over here. That looks really well seasoned. And then we also have Okinawa sweet potato here oh we got more coming guys we got the veggie tempura yasai tempura oh and the tofu arigato gozaimasu oh look at that look at that spinach and sharks it looks great all right guys well it looks like we got some snacks over here let's get down all right spinach and sharks so we got a little bit of everything here we got the tofu we got the tempura we also got the sweet potato. Wow, that is soft. And of course, the pork belly, which is even softer. Yeah, let's try this out. Let's try this out. So, of course, we got to try the pork belly first over here. Definitely got to get a good bite of that. 
It was nicely grilled. Definitely seasoned properly. It melts really nicely. A little bit of fat, but you know, it adds to the flavor. Mm. Yeah, pork belly is definitely a four out of five. Yeah, sweet potato sounds good. So, what do I? What's my sweet potato think of the sweet potato? You know what I'm about. <laughs> <laughs> but I like it. <laughs> this good stuff? Yeah, it's good. What, uh, what do you think the benefits are? I like the texture a lot. Mm. Oh yeah, wow. That is not an American sweet potato. That's definitely a Japanese sweet potato. Wow. No, it's uh, a little bit Yeah? Nice. Out of five, what would you give it? Alright, turn around. Wait, wait, wait. Out of five, what would you give it? I would give it a five. You would definitely give it a five? Yeah. Alright, let's call it a five. Okay, we're trying the tofu next. All right, here we go. Bro. Oh. Oh. Yeah, Wonder Woman, what do you think of that? It's fluffy. It's yeah, it's fried really nicely. Yeah, I know. I mean, that is some texture. That is some texture there. Yeah, it doesn't typically. So I'm actually pretty impressed. I'll give the tofu a 5 out of 5, no questions asked. What do you think? 4 out of 5? 5 out of 5? What's up? 5 out of 5. Call that a win for the tofu. Now we'll try the tempura. Okay, here we go. Squash tempura. Wow. Again, you could stand more seasoning. I mean, the it's fried really well. It's light. I don't get any bad taste or anything like that. It, it, I think it just needs a little more seasoning, and it would be great. Um, four out of five from me. All right, Spanish and Shark. So we just blew through our plates over there. I'm still a little hungry, so I'm gonna go ahead and get a little bit of sushi because we forgot, hey, we're at a sushi restaurant. Let's get some sushi. So I ordered the unagi, or the freshwater eel, as a nigiri. So we'll try that out, see how it is. And we'll go from there. Okay, so the proper way to do this, actually eating sushi, you're supposed to do it with your hands, but I like to show off and use chopsticks instead, so here we go. I'm impressed, the eel is very fresh. Got a lot of good taste to it. Be even better with a little bit of wasabi and soy sauce on it. Yep, that was some good sushi. Yep, five out of five, that's, that's just it, good sushi. That is one serious onigiri. One, two, three. Huh. Not too bad. Needs a little soy sauce, but I think it's fine. No, I'll put some in. Darling, what do you think, if I spin it around here? I spin it, I, can I spin it around? Ask you your opinion. Alright, so what does Wonder Woman think of the uh, onigiri? I don't know what I expected. Good stuff though? Yes. Yeah, I'm gonna try with the soy sauce. Try with the soy sauce, yeah. Soy sauce. Definitely. Three. Three out of five? Yeah. Yeah, I think I'm feeling about the same way. Well seasoned, pretty standard rice ball, not too bad. All right there, spinners and sharks, that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed today's review and found it informative, I'd appreciate a like, and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Ultimately, Kusanori is a good restaurant. My major gripe is that even for Vegas, it's not quite priced right. Definitely good for a light pre-show meal, I'd go back, no worries, but I'd prefer if they had a more focused entree menu. Maybe something of a hibachi feature, that'd be great too. But for what it is, I enjoyed it. It earns its 4 out of 5. Till next time though, this is Ace of Vegas signing out, and I'm wishing you all strong hands, and of course, happy spinning you guys.